you have a Toyota Prius um, problem as well. That you fixed the problem on from January on, but from the ones before that you didn't. This is the third generation Prius. It's been in sale in the U.S. since approximately May. The situation with the third generation Prius is it's a completely new redesigned system. The braking system within this Prius has three systems that work together. Mm -hmm. First is the regeneration, which takes the power lost when you're slowing down and takes that power and transfers it back into the battery. But we have the regeneration system. Then we have the hydraulic system, which is virtually similar to every vehicle that's on the market. And then you have analog brakes. Those three systems are integrated by an ECU or a small computer. And the small computer has logic to optimize the balance between those three functions. That's, that's its role. We've, since we began selling this, uh, the, the new Prius, and there's actually recently, up to this week, there's been 124 concerns expressed from customers with the Prius that they feel a sensation through the, the brake pedal that's not comfortable for them. They're, they're not sure what's going on. We've looked at it closely, and here's, uh, here's what customers are telling us and, and what we're confident is taking place. First of all, the braking system is working as designed. Mm -hmm. However, when you get into a situation where it's a rough road, or you hit a pothole, or you may hit a patch of ice, or maybe even it's been described to me as a uh, manhole cover that's, that's high. The car senses when you hit that, that bump that there's a momentary loss of traction. And the computer immediately does what it's supposed to do, is it switches from regenerative or hydraulic braking over to ABS, and then quickly comes back. That switching between the three systems, while it's operating correctly, gives a sensation through the pedal that's not comfortable for some customers. Once we understood that, our engineers developed a software upgrade. We have now te fully tested that, and we've put that software upgrade into the production vehicles starting sometime in January. I don't know specifically the date. As of Wednesday of this week, we have made uh, the software upgrade available through our dealers. We've issued um, a notice of intent to recall. Uh, we will begin mailing to our owners this weekend uh, to come in and receive this software upgrade. The software, essentially what it does is it changes the logic of the computer system and does a little bit better job of optimizing the way it balances those three systems. So that sensation that comes through the pedal that a few people uh, are concerned about or don't care for, it removes that between the regenerative brakes, the hydraulic, and the ABS. It's the logic of how those three systems are optimized. It's an ABS, an ABS system. So many times a second, the computer is making choices. And it's either applying brakes or letting up the brakes. And it's going like this, many times a second. And so at pending, at, at a point where the computer senses that traction will, will be lost, it will lighten the brakes so that they don't slip, so that the tire doesn't slip. And when you hit that pothole, there is a moment when, when that tire is losing traction. So the computer's job, what's the number one uh, priority? Do not lose traction with the pavement. What, what is happening is that it's a slow application of the pedal, and, and you are in a braking mode, but, there, but, the, but you can feel in the pedal this movement going on. Mm -hmm. and it's a very aggressive system, and we've had owners contacting us and contacting NHTSA, and also owners in Japan doing the same thing, saying, I'm concerned about this. This bothers me. What's going on here? And the point is, it's functioning as it's supposed to, but it's very aggressive, and it's disconcerting for some owners. Is it only in the Prius, or are there Lexus uh, hybrids it's in as well? Well, this is a very, this is a specific ABS system programmed to be specific to this vehicle. I see. So the Lexus would not have the same system in it as... The as Lexus model that is yeah. being recalled has a very similar system, but it's different. 
And that, that Lexus is the HS250? Yes. 250. 250. 250. Yeah, H. So basically, this, is, this, this was seen mostly as a customer satisfaction issue. And that's why, that's why very early on in the generation, we started to look at this issue as a drivability issue and began to create uh, uh, what they call, um, well, it's a fix, mm -hmm. but it's a remedy in order to keep the performance but get rid of that feel that, that is disconcert disconcerting. So, and we began the, the putting that into the production cycle, I think, in January. 